choices. And we all have choices. We all make choices. A lot of times we go through things in our life, Brother Bobby, because of the choices that we yes. have made. And we, we, some choices that we make, our, our relationships suffer, not only with God, but with individuals. Yeah. You know, uh, I had the opportunity a few weeks back to go to uh, uh, the, the Missions of Hope House up there and, and they was having a service. And I was looking around and, uh, at, at the people, you know. Yeah. And I, I looked at the hurt. And, you know, I looked, you know, so many times we as Christians and, 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 and members, lay members, you know, missionaries, and evangelists, and pastors, and preachers, we look at the outward of man. Yeah. You know, and, and I was sitting in the very back. I got there kind of late after I finally figured out where it was at. You know, and, and, and the preacher then preached, but the, the, the another minister was exalting and, and, and talking, you know, and, and, and trying to help do his part in drawing the, allowing the Holy Ghost to draw folks in. But I was looking at these young men, some young, some old, various ages, you know. Uh, but I looked at, the, when I first went in, I looked at the outward of man. Yeah. But I, I started, as the Lord started dealing with me, I started looking at at that the heart of that man. Uh, you know, and their decisions that they made in their life is what caused them to be where they are today. Yeah. Amen. You know, and that's kind of what the Lord dealt with me on is the decisions that they made in their life caused them to be where they are yeah. at right yeah. now. Right. You know, some there was not receptive to the Word of God. Some was there that was receptive to the Word of God. Some came up and prayed. Some did not. Some was there just because they had to be. You know, but, you know, I looked at the, and, and I'm not throwing rocks, but I looked at the, the tattoos and I looked at the, the holes in their, in, their, in their arms and their ears, you know, where they, where they had earrings and they had, you know, pierced their bodies, you know, they had all that gone. And I didn't look down on them from that because it was decisions. Yeah. That they made, yeah. that God of where they all are. Yeah, right you know, yeah. Yeah. we ourselves as Christians today, we make decisions that we don't see the outcome right now. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Man. But later yeah. down the road, we can say, "I am here because of the decision I made on, yesterday, Come on, brother, brother. or last week, or last year." You know, and. Even Christians today, like I said, we make decisions and we don't pray through and we don't seek God and, and we wonder why we are where we are, amen, as Christians because we did not spend that time with God before we make the decisions of going forward, amen. You know, before I took this new position at the shipyard, amen, the man, my, my, my boss, he said, told me, Robbie, he says, you're stepping up at a different level of management now. And the decisions that you make not only affect you, but they affect the 586 people that will work for you. Yeah. Amen. And he said, one thing you must do is you do not make a decision off a whim you need to look at the facts and seek it out before you make a decision. Yes, right. yes. Amen. And he stopped me the other day and he says, have you made a decision on this situation? I said, not yet. Well, we, we need a decision. I said, I know you do, but I'm seeking it out. Yeah. Amen. See, because the decisions that I make not only affect me, but they affect the company 
and they affect the lives of 586 yeah. million. Yeah. We don't look at how our decisions affect those around us. Come on. Amen. And that's one thing the Lord really dealt with me here on this is the decisions that we make don't affect just us. It affects our spouse. It affects our children. It affects our aunts, our uncles. You know, because decisions we make as Christians affect the lost loved ones that's in our life. Amen. And and that's why it's so important for us to seek God. Amen. Because I'm telling you, church, the world's looking at you. Amen. And that devil is looking at you to fail. Amen. Amen. The first thing they want to do is point out, hey, this is where you went wrong. Amen. Look at you now. Why? Where are you at now? Why are you going through this now? Amen. Praise God. Don't get me wrong, church. It rains on the just and the unjust. We're going to have problems. We're going to have situations. But when we come through them situations, our lives should glorify Christ in our life. Amen. amen. Praise God. But the decisions that we make sometimes, amen, does not glorify God in our life. Amen. That's where we need to get back to that place. Okay, God, I failed you in this decision. Yeah. Help me make a better one. Amen. amen. Yeah. Praise God. Joel chapter 3, verse 9. You start there. Verse 20, 17. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I set the judge all the heathen round about. Put ye into in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar, roar out of Zion, and utter His voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of His people and the strength of the children of Israel. Yeah. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no stranger pass through her anymore. Let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank You tonight for this opportunity, God, to stand before You and stand before Your people, Lord God. Oh God, I pray, oh God, for the sweet Holy Ghost of Heaven. God, to arrest each and every soul tonight, God. God, I ask You to move in a mighty way tonight, God. God, anoint this vessel of clay, oh God, and make me a vessel of honor tonight. God, anoint each and every heart tonight, God. That's under the sound of my voice, oh God. God, I ask You, God, to touch their mind and to touch their hearts, God. God, do a work tonight in us, O oh Lord. Uh, Father God, I ask you, God, to give me clarity of speech and quantity of vocabulary, O oh God. Uh, God, I ask you, God, to lift up the seraphim, God. Take the holy tongues off the altar, God. God, take a live coal to that altar, God. God, and not only place it in my mouth, O oh God, and in my heart and mouth, but God, I ask you to touch each and every individual tonight. God, I ask that live coal, God. Uh, God, burn within us, O oh God. God tonight, God, do a work, O oh Lord, and we'll be quick to praise you. Give you glory and honor, God, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Praise God. You can be seated tonight. 
Amen. We find here, amen, that God, amen, He has went unto the Gentiles. Amen. He's went unto the people. Amen. That the world's cast out. Amen. Praise God. He's went to the ones, amen, that the church world's got rid of. Amen. The Gentiles. Amen. Thank God that God's grace is sufficient tonight. Amen. Thank God that the Holy Ghost, amen, draws Gentiles. Amen. Praise God. I thank God tonight for His mercy. I thank God for His grace tonight. Thank God that He's still drawing Gentiles. Amen. Thank God that the heathen can become saved. Thank God that the children that's lost can be found. Thank God tonight for the mercy of the Holy One of Israel. Amen. Praise God. Thank God there's a valley. Amen. That we can come to. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for the mercy and the grace of God. Yes. Amen. We find here tonight, amen, that God is calling the Gentile. Amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, the self-righteous. Uh, amen. Don't want God. Uh, amen. amen. The self-righteous. Uh, don't need God. Uh, amen. In their minds. Uh, that's what they think. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm good to go. Uh, I've been saved since I was 12. Uh, and filled with the Holy Ghost uh, since I was 13. Uh, amen. Uh, I don't go to those places. Uh, I don't talk to them people. Uh, amen. I don't sit by them. Uh, I don't associate with them. Uh, Amen. I thank God that the Holy Ghost is still sitting by the sinner. Amen. Thank God the Holy Ghost is still drawing the laws. Amen. Thank God. And He's dealing with Gentiles. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me tell you, I've been rejected. Amen. Mistreated. Amen. By more holiness filled folks. Amen. Than I have any Gentile in this country. Amen. Thank God that the Gentiles are still soft hearted. Thank God that the Gentiles still want God. Thank God that He's still drawing them. Amen. Amen. And stiff necked. Hard hearted. So called Christians. Yes. Amen. They'll hurt you quicker yes. Amen. and be meaner Amen. than any Gentile you've ever dealt with. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank God that He's drawing Gentiles. Amen. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you, church, at one time you was a Gentile. Yes. Amen. That's right. Amen. Think about this. If nobody that was saved never came, sat down beside you and dealt with you and talked with you about the Holy Ghost, uh, talked to you about Jesus Christ, uh, told you about the blood of the Son of God, uh, amen, told you about the sacrifice on Calvary's hillside, where would you be today? Oh, come on now. Where would you be today? Amen. Thank God, amen, that He is sending us out to the lost. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, the lost ain't always on the street corner. Amen. Woo! Amen. The lost is in your very own house. Amen. Your very own family. Amen. Yes, amen. That's why it's time to wake up. Amen. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Take up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Uh, beat your plowshares into swords uh, and your pruning hooks into spears. Uh, let the weak say, I am strong. Uh, amen, church. Let me tell you what time it is. Uh, amen. It's time. Uh, amen. For war. Uh, amen. amen. Uh, that devil's stealing souls. Uh, amen. amen. Uh, and we ain't doing nothing about it. Uh, amen. Uh, our lost lovers is going to hell. Uh, and we ain't doing nothing about it. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm telling you what, church. Church, uh, amen. You can sit out there and plow your field. Uh, amen. You can plant your seed. Uh, amen. You can harvest your wheat. Uh, amen. You can go out there. Uh, amen. You can pluck the apples off the tree.
Amen. If you want to. Amen. But God said it's time for war. Amen. Oh. Praise God. Let me 